This summer, I had the opportunity to spend three weeks in Rwanda conducting a One Health Environmental Toxicology Research Project. For the project, I was accompanied by Dr. Rumbeha, a veterinary toxicologist and professor at UC Davis, and Enoch, a veterinary student from the University of Rwanda and our local translator, guide, and assistant. Our project goal was to assess the environmental health of a vulnerable community in an area of intensive agriculture through sampling for pesticides, harmful algal bloom toxins, and other environmental contaminants. To do this, we traveled from our home base in Kigali, north to Negatari, a rural agricultural community that is home to the University of Rwanda's veterinary school. There, we deployed passive adsorbent devices that collect toxicants over time. We placed them into water bodies in the rice fields and also into the river that is directly fed from the agricultural runoff. To find the right sites for deployment, we surveyed the land, talked to lots of locals, and coordinated with the local chief. We also took samples of drinking water, soil, sediment, earthworms, bees, and honey for analysis. It was incredible to see how applicable One Health is, watching wildlife, livestock, and the community members drink, fish, and swim in the river that is directly fed from and accumulating agricultural runoff. And it was rewarding to know how important our research was there as it could make a difference in the lives of the people and animals using the river. We then traveled south to the Rwanda Institute of Conservation Agriculture, our control site. There, we deployed more adsorbent devices, took more environmental samples, and learned about their sustainable campus. We are still waiting on our results from the project, and I can't wait to see what we learn from them. I was also lucky enough to spend a few days shadowing at New Vision Veterinary Hospital, one of the only two small animal hospitals in the country. This allowed me to see how small animal medicine is practiced in Rwanda and how it's developing, but it was also a terrific hands-on experience gaining clinical knowledge. On the days we weren't working, I was able to see even more of the country, taking day trips to see African wildlife and the famed volcanoes. This unforgettable experience pushed me out of my comfort zone, taught me about my worldview, and built my confidence in navigating and conducting multilingual and multicultural research and veterinary medicine. Thank you to all of the amazing veterinarians and researchers I worked with this summer, and to Global Programs for this invaluable opportunity.